Hello, uh, selfie baris. We are supposed to go to the museum, but uh, we receive a call. Uh, mag road trip daw tayo. Okay. Uh, try natin bisitahin ang PMA. Okay. Military Academy. Camp John Hay is not just about pine trees, bringing the feeling of peace and cold breeze to everyone who visits the place. It's actually far more than that, but the side reality is that many people don't have any idea about its historical value or how it came to be. So if you are a traveler who enjoys learning about the place history, this is definitely worth knowing and visiting. In 1903, John Hay was made into a military post and sanitarium for troops serving the Philippines. He deemed it perfect for such because of its aura of serenity and pine-scented beauty. It became a place for hailing bodies and mentally down American servicemen with the intention to restore their health. What to see here? Aside from the world-class hotels and restaurants, uh, we have the totem pole. It is carved by Ernesto Dulang to showcase a succession of his historical figures during the first half of the 20th century. Another one is the Cemetery of Niga Niga Cemetery of Nigatibizia. Yeah, the cemetery was origi originally created to help the soldiers bury their negative thoughts. As of this day, it has remained to hold that purpose. It serves as a stern reminder for its visitors to be more positive about life and not let negativism in get in, in the way. Another one in here is the History Trail and Secret Garden. The History Trail and Secret Garden were meant to provide a sense of serenity to troops aside from being a refuge from the lowland heat. It is also said that secrets and negative thoughts can be left behind in the secret garden patio. So once you reach the patio, you'll send padlocks on its walls. Sir, sa kanto sa learning resource. The Philippine Military Academy began on October 25, 1898 with the establishment of the Academia Militar in Malolos, Bulacan by virtue of a decree issued by the first president of the young Philippine Republic, General Emilio Aguinal. Graduates were awarded regular commission in the armed forces. Its existence was a short lived barely four months old, up to January 20, 1899 when hostilities between the Americans and Filipinos erupted. While the Philippines was under American colonial rule, an officer's school of the Philippine Constabulary was established at the walled city of Intramuros in Manila on February 17, 1905. It relocated three years later to Baguio City, initially at Camp Henry T. Allen and subsequently at Teacher's Camp. The Philippine Legislature on September 8, 1926 passed an Act Number 3496 renaming the School of the Philippine Constabulary Academy and lengthened its course from 9 months to 3 years with provision to strengthen the faculty and revise its curriculum. On December 21, 1936, Commonwealth Act No. 1, also known as National Defense Act, was passed. The law formally created the Philippine Military Academy, or PMA, and authorized it to confer a Bachelor of Science degree on its graduate after they successfully 
complete the four year four years course. The outbreak of the World War II in the late 1940-1941 uh, disrupted the training of, at the academy. Classes 1942 and 1943 were, were graduated ahead of schedule. Assigned to combat units in, in various parts of the Philippines, of course many, uh, many perished during that war. The Philippine Military Academy reopened on May 5, 1947 again at its former location in the summer capital camp, Henry T. Allen. Due to the need for wider grounds, the Academy moved to its uh, present site at Fort Gregorio del Pilar, a sprawling 373 hectares uh, compound in Luacan, some 10 kilometers from downtown Baguio City. After the young hero of the Battle of Tirad Pass, General Gregorio del Pilar, PMA in its new location was developed into a military training institution with facilities and infrastructure required by a growing academy. Its pre-war technically oriented curriculum patterned after that of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. Socio-humanistic courses were added in the 1960s as the curriculum underwent major changes and strengthened to balance the techno-scientific disciplines with a view towards providing a well-rounded education relevant to the needs of a growing armed forces of the Philippines. In 1993, uh, PMA was transformed into a tri-service academy which introduced specialized branch of service specific courses in the last two years of training. Uh, preparing PMA graduates for their specific branch of service for the graduates to be Field ready, fleet ready, or squadron ready upon graduation. Also that same year, in accordance with uh, Republic Act 7192, the first female cadets were admit, admitted into the Philippine Military Academy. Ah, ganun pala yun. Hindi ko words yan ha, sa website yan ha. Saan tayo pa parada? Ayun. Ayan, pauwi na tayo. Ako po talaga ay nagpapasalamat sa generosity of uh, the leadership of Colonel Simon, uh, Master Sergeant uh, Yang, Mang Flor Garcia, uh, and her staff in the library. Salamat sa kanilang pagtulong at naka- so, receive tayo ng libro sa kanila. Malaking tulong to sa institution na natin. Because uh, meron tayong merong i-open na bagong course doon. So, this military science uh, books will uh, uh, help us a lot in our library collections. And I'm very glad na nakapasyal din dito kasi off limits to campus ng PMA ngayon. Uh, bawal nga ang mga delivery and mga taxi. So, as you can see, walang mga sasakyan. Bihira lang. So, we are very lucky na nakapasok dito at mapasyalan din natin ang campus na to. Because uh, this is not just only a uh, uh, military school, naging tourist spot na rin. So, uh, we're very lucky and 
I want to share it to you also. Kahit sa street view man lang. Thank you rin kay Professor Malu Marilo Passion ng St. Louis University. Siya, siya yung nag-facilitate at uh, tumulong talaga din sa including sa pagbubuhat. Uh, maraming salamat ng marami sa pas sa pasyal na to uh, pag benchmark na rin tayo agad agad ora ora instant thank you thank you sinusubukan namin magpakayaman <laughs> so yan, nakarating na tayo dito sa library buhat na rin ang gagawin natin ok, dito tayo sa labas para maliwanag by the way, our background is covered from the google image na nagtrending noon uh, we'll try to unbox we'll sort out the donated books of PMA library We will see if what are the sorted books sa ating degree programs. Basically, these are these books are more on the military science, so it is very timely because mag-offer tayo ng BS in criminology degree sa isang campus. Sige, tignan natin kung anong meron. Okay. So the first title. Results through lab. Naku, mayroon pa palang pagmamahal doon sa PMA. Yan, manapakagandang, manapakagandang title. Mayroon din tayong mga something on yan, mga freedom of love, freedom of love, endless journey. And then, mayroon tayong victory in northern Luzon. Yan, isang magandang title din to. Okay, okay. Meron din tayong rights of passage. And then, ito. Tingnan natin kung ano to. <laughs> okay, uh, tuloy natin. Napadaan si Sir. Itong Victory at Busang Pass, yun, no? na, na, napakagandang kwan natin. Uh, collection sa ating Kariana Corner or Collections. Victory at Busang Pass. Yeah gandang title yan meron pa ditong The Freedom Fighters of Northern Luzon The Untold Story by Cesar Pobre with Philip Kimpo Jr. yun ito yung kwan, uh, marami pa sa loob pero ito lang yung nilabas natin para makita nyo naman okay so well uh, ang maganda dito is uh, yung initiative ng mga ito is uh, ang importance niya is of the collaboration part sabi nga nila mas marami mas masaya so ma magandang may mga kakulab so hanggang dito muna mga kaselfie thank you sa ating uh, premium sponsor serve enterprises lastly like and subscribe